Alright, so this lady came out of the bathroom. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Leave the diner. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Who the hell is... Must be the manager or owner. <laughs> you fell asleep. All right. Leave the diner. Cut this part. Divers Isle. So I just came to a little small island right here. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got a flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on. That sunset. sucks. Free of darkness. Look at all this nice Are water. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. So some, got some nice graphics. Nice um, plant designs and stuff. Even got birds flying around. Bird Lake Cabin. Go to the cabin. That's my mission. Open the lock. Hey, why is he lock picking yet? What the hell? Just crack open a window or something. It's not even that dark. Hello? Anyone Coffee here? thermos. Newspaper for getting you um, awake, I guess. Staying awake. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare, I've seen the fairy return. Whoa, what the hell was that? So I guess you can classify this as like a horror type game. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Go to find a generator. Get the power on. There's a lot of radio right here. Hmm. You can go to these little places right here. Focus. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Sometimes it has those little moments. I don't know if it's gonna change the ending. I don't know if it has alternate endings or not. Because I haven't completed the game yet. So I don't know if those little things right like that matter. Like turning on the radio, stuff like that. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I never heard of it before. Guess it must be in that little shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Where's the door? Where the hell's the door? Oh, there it is. An old generator has been connected to the power cable. Oh, you have to press it when it's in the green bar? Because that's it. And why is he walking? Okay. And then a cinematic. I'll cut this part. So it's dark now. Return to Alice. Focus. Alice told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Oh, 
go back to the house. Alice? Honey? Why don't they lock their doors and stuff? And they just leave every door open. Where? Surprise! Oh. What is this? I guess I Cut this part. I thought maybe dark. All the lights were out. Alright. Guess something bad Alice, happened. I'm coming! It's alright! I'm coming! Oh shit. What the hell? Those birds became cannibals. Everything became um, consumed by the darkness, I guess. Flash that. Alice? Skip Alice? this part. Alright. So I'm back here again in the wilderness. This car crashed. That's about as much as I'm gonna say. Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. I didn't there. like the guy's smug face in the cover, either. Guess I have to find a way... Oh, shit. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs>